Concerns coming after two years from Oregon being hit by devastating wildfires in 2020. Brandon Thompson live in Estacada tonight as communities hit by those fires are preparing now. And those preparations come as rebuilding is still underway. Liz, you could see the charred trees that surround the Dodge Community Church here. They're rebuilding this church, just like firefighters are rebuilding how they approach attacking these fires. When the Riverside Fire started in eastern Clackamas County. We went out, we came over here on Hillock Burn and the saw fireman. He said, there's a fire, we don't know where it's going, it's hot, just get out. And we went home and got out. Kathy Bowden lost her home in the fire, one of several lost in this stretch of Dodge. The memories far from fading. It's still so present. You know, you think two years, well, you know, you wouldn't be thinking a lot about it. But yet we, we think are about it every all day. the time. Yeah, you think about it every day because yeah. you still see it today because there's yeah. still families that are still trying to build. Susan Matthews and Kathy are two of several people hoping to rebuild the Dodge Community Church. First built in 1900, it's been a staple for the people who live here. It's, it's not just a church, it's mm -hmm. family. It was uh, more wind and fire than uh, actually we had resources that we could actually deal with at the time. The forecast that weekend. This was sort of an unusual time to get the east winds. Somewhat similar to the forecast for later this week. The Estacada Fire Department did not exist in 2020, formed just 18 months ago. The resources, Assistant Fire Chief Alan Lashbrook says, are now fortified. With more money to hire firefighters from state lawmakers, the newly formed fire department has crews on standby ready to react. Uh, we take and move quick on the area out here. So with us in Clackamas uh, Fire, um, we're all doing the same thing. We're, we're hitting the fires hard and, and trying to knock them down before they move, move out. In hopes of preventing a fire like the Riverside from ravaging this community again. And Jeff and Elizabeth, you mentioned those potential for power outages coming up later this week. In 2020, PGE did shut down power to customers around Mount Hood, around 5,000 people at that time. Pacific Power did not, and now they're facing lawsuits over that decision. Reporting live in Dodge, Brandon Thompson, Coin 6 News. Yeah.